Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. So today is DIY, hello Coco. So today, hi Coco. Okay honey, they can hear you. <laughs> so today's DIY, we're gonna make our own rose water. Two simple ingredients, roses and water. And for the most part, you want to use one part roses to one part water. So add some fresh petals. It doesn't matter whether they are fresh or they are dried. So we're going to place them into this pot. And we're going to use about a cup and a half of water. You don't want to use too much because then you'll dilute the rose water itself. Make sure that the water covers most of the rose petals. Some of them will float, but for the most part, try to cover them with water. Even from just dipping my hand into this water right here, my hands already smell like roses. Now we put the simmer burner on and we are going to simmer this at a low heat until all of the color fades from the roses. And just stir occasionally, you guys. Oh my gosh, you should smell this. It smells so good. Okay, who stole the rose? Was it you, Tiff? Are you trying to uh, escape there? We're getting there. So now we're going to strain it. Roses that I had used are a very light pink. Now, if I would have gotten the darker pink, like the fresh ones that I used, it would have been actually like a rose color. So we are going to continue to drain this, and then we're going to let the mixture cool. And then we'll put the cover on, and we'll let it cool completely. Okay, so now it's nice and cool, and we're going to funnel it into these cute little jars. And you know, I bought these. I think these were home goods, and they were so cute. You know how you find something and you're just like, I know I'm going to have a purpose for these one day. Well, this is it. So we're going to ladle it into here. Hope I don't spill it all over. So we filled three jars worth. You guys, it smells so good. Okay, so now these roses have pretty much had it. So now we're going to make a rose water with fresh roses, and let's see how it turns out. We're going to do exactly the same thing that we did with the dry roses. We're going to separate these, and we're going to simmer them and uh, let it cool off. So hopefully we'll get a little bit more red and a little bit more fragrance from these roses. Right, so now we're just going to let it cool off and then we're going to put it in a bottle. <gasps> you guys, this smells so good. So now that it's cooled off, we're going to put it into our little bottle. So I definitely think this batch is, it came out better. It is more fragrant. The color is better. And you know who dumped this. Yes, honey, you're like a toddler. You cannot even turn your back for like 10 seconds. That's what I get for not putting the cap on. So let's test it out. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so good. So I definitely think to get a better result, use the fresh roses. Don't wait for them to be all the way wilted. And it depends on how much water that you want to use. The less water that you use, the more concentrated that your rose water is going to be. And uh, I was looking for my spray bottles. I can't find them. Anywho, so that's why we put it in this little vial with a dropper. I know, you yell at her. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate the time that you take to watch my videos. It means so much to me. And until next time, my beauties, stay gorgeous. Mwah. Exhale.
Guys, thanks very much for dumping everything off the table.